Okay, so, wow, there's some good luck. I'm going to do the Dark Watch setback unlock again. If you're wondering why, there's someone who's having trouble with this, and by doing this, they may have a little bit less misery, I guess. Wow. So we want to kill this one. So anyway, we're going to start with looking up, and we have the Grease Gun on Fixer, so I'm going to play that so that we don't have to worry about damage this turn, because that Scum and Villainy is going to work us over. So I want to play Hair Trigger Reflexes and Aim, so that when the Informant comes out, we can immediately kill it. And... Non-hero targets cannot deal damage. So I can use Call Forth and discard the Astral Premonition to pull four Relics. So the main reason for this is just to get stuff out of the way of Mistform. And then we are going to use her Attunement. This is my best bet. The other two don't matter. Now comes the contract. This is a great time for the contract to appear, believe it or not. That's a really bad time for the deputy to appear, because now we have to deal with the crooked cop. <laughs> Definitely concerned about how we're going to kill the cop. So I'm thinking I'm going to play high risk behavior here and have Fixer destroy that on his turn. For the tire iron, this. You have to knock something down to 2 HP to destroy it. I can do that to the contract, I think. Does that boost your damage or no? No. So yeah, that's... stalled. <laughs> well, I can kill the cop here. So when I do that, I can hit him. That'll knock him down to three. That won't do it. I can hit something else, though. If I hit the deputy, that'll knock him down to four. I need expat to continue aiming. So yeah, we're gonna hit him. We're gonna kill the cop most likely in Fixer's turn. So I can sacrifice the tire iron, which is not really a bad call here, but... I'd rather get rid of that high-risk behavior. So we're going to go into our deck. We are going to pull Grease Monkey Fist, because this maximizes our damage. That may allow me to do some other tire iron kills. So right now I'm contemplating, do I want to do the Heatless Lash? I think it might be better off just dealing with a crooked cop. So I'm going to cheat to the max here. We're going to play the Tome here and look and see if that will give me Mistform. So right here is when you can get it, because Mistform is an ongoing, so no dice. We'll stick with this. And then I can Heed the Slash, something into play. 
I want the planar banishment in case something nasty comes out of the environment. I'm gonna continue to try to set her up in the meantime. <sighs> so out of curiosity, we'll see what comes. That's worthless. That helps us. So I'll get rid of a ring and a lash. So I can redirect this into her and have to worry about less counterattack damage in the future. So I think I'd rather keep the hoist chain. Actually, no. I'm gonna use the tire iron. So the reckless rush is fodder to throw away, but I need to use Fumbling Fool right here. So with this, we can see Rook City is mine. That means we're safe for one turn. So we're actually gonna undo that. Go back to start of turn. We can use this. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, so I can actually get rid of all my tokens here and turn this into the poor man Sonic Vortex. Get rid of this. And this. So yeah, I'm going to steer this into the deputy just because I want him dead. And for as much damage as I'm dealing here, I need to kill the muscle, I think. So I can sell which yard to get my stuff back, but it's not the right time yet. We're gonna get rid of the tire iron. And now I'm willing to take this. I'll probably be salvage yarding next turn. So I'm going to play the rifle and we're going to continue aiming because I don't know... Actually, I could kill the fence right here and now. This actually is my best course of action. Just face tank the damage. So I'm going to look and see if Mistform is here. It's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the book instead, that way I get an additional card. And there's a chance I can draw it here. Just remember that Mistform is an ongoing, it is not a spell as such. You cannot pull it with the book. It's more of a lateral type move that we're going to be making. Rook City is mine. Sweet the sludge. So right now we need to use Fumbling Fool just to see if his top card is the Prison Break. It is. So yeah, I'm cool. I can add 4, but that'll put me at 10, so we actually need to get rid of tokens, believe it or not. 
So let's see, I want... Perfect human specimens, that's fine. We're gonna have Toxic Sludge wipe the environment for the most part. I lost charge. If I double skip, what do I get? Toolbox, overdrive. And no, because I can discard this with one card instead on the environment turn. And I actually need to play the shotgun here. Since I don't need to aim at the moment, I'm gonna shoot the operative. And we got the nitro rounds. Okay, so my next course of action is, while I wait for Mistform, I'm gonna try to heal. And once again, we're gonna peek to see if Mistform is here. It is not. So we're gonna shuffle the deck. Heal the slash. I'm going to discard... Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> I'll take the three hit points so I can call forth next turn for four cards. So anyway, we need to see who has stuff to discard. She has one that I can afford. He has one. He actually has two. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of this. And then we'll get rid of this. Skip. Pop this first. Out comes human specimens. They heal. Pop the sludge. Out comes the freaking racketeer. I need... I may need to hit him with a uh, planar banishment. So we're gonna have her take it, but I do not wish to redirect. Have him take it, and her. Oh man. So the great news is. I was actually expecting my doorbell to ring right there. We're getting rid of the planar banishment here so they can redirect this. I'm gonna do this into the chairman so that the chairman counterattacks. It's not gonna matter too much, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I can salvage yard or I can toolbox. I'm gonna play the other looking up, so that way Fixer has something to discard. There's Karmic. See, yeah, toolbox it. There's the jack handle, which could come in handy. I also got bloody knuckles. So, toolbox is... I get more out of hitting him. Like, it's very tempting to machine gun him, Chairman, with the Nitro Rounds. But we need to take this guy out real quick. Need cards. And once again, peek at your top card. So I could use an Oblivion here. Miss Fuel Recovery is your comeback card. Basically, we can put all of our discards... She actually has the most, I think. <laughs> Back into our deck and heal accordingly. So right here, I'm just going to draw an extra card. And I could heal. I don't need this extra book, so I'm going to do it. Scum and Villainy, I'm going to need to pop that somehow. So you actually want the Broker on top, because she really can't do much here. The one that we do have to worry about is when the Deputy comes out. He's the card to be scared of. At the moment. Oh my god. So I can't hurt him. So 
So one, two, three, four, five. And then I can do the sixth again. So him first. So I can use Enlightenment to draw some cards. We'll get rid of the Elder Ring. We need to redirect this into the other Crooked Cop so I can kill it. So the downside of doing this is Fixer is going to take one nasty counterattack. An unload would be godly if I could get one. So I'm thinking about salvage yarding here so I can get my crap back. in the machine gun and fire the machine gun. Actually, so I didn't aim last turn. <laughs> yeah, I shotgun the one dude. Yeah, I'll do this. We have rings to spare. Steer this into the chairman. Nemesis bonus counterattack. And now I can actually hit the chairman without worrying about the counterattack. There we go. Next turn can be really, really big. So I'm thinking I may want to save the Oblivion for that one. So I'm going to shuffle my turn stuff around here. So that reveals Mistbound. That's worthless to me, so undo that. We're going to play this. Miss Field Recovery, do I want to do that? We're going to use the book here. I'm actually going to part with this for healing. And yeah, I need to get rid of this here. So we're going to get rid of Enlightenment and Star Shield. That played the Prison Break, which brings out those guys. So yeah, since I know what's coming, we're going to change what we do on Expat's turn. We're going to Nitro around everything instead. Sadly, there's no way to escape the counterattack here. So yeah, I'm going to hold off on this. So we want to get rid of our low-numbered cards, like the Star Shield. I may need these two cards yet. We'll get rid of Enlightenment. Get rid of 
this, and this. Yeah, I'd rather do this. Statuary. So real quick, it doesn't matter, there's no difference between the two of them, it's just the muscle deals damage, so we gotta get rid of him. Setback. And we'll do Fixer. Sludge. Oh my god. That was pretty high up there on worst case scenario. So this doesn't even deal damage anymore. Oh wait, that's Blight Street's wrong one. Ring and book, I guess. This is definitely a grease gun. So in reality, I would like to get that other prison break out, so I'm going to say yes. I'll get rid of one overdrive and a tire iron. Out comes the deputy. So yeah, we're going to unload. So that gives me three powers. First one is on aim. Second one's on the machine gun. And then he can pull cops out. This guy cannot pull out anything else. So let's see. If I do that, that's five damage. It actually doesn't matter. So I'm going to go for the Oblivion here. Oh my god, I lose a mist form if I do this. <laughs> so my other option is I can misbound them so that they can't take action. And yeah, I'll discard these. Steer this into the chairman. And I need cards. The thing that would screw me over right now is if it's a prison break. If it is, I'm just going to rewind. Top card, we'll say, is the statuary. So Fumbling Fool, just see what his top card is. Thief, that's worthless. So we're going to undo that move. Play a card instead. So I'm going to use Karmic Retribution here. It's not going to be a nuke, but I get to live a little longer. And basically I'm trying to hit him as much as possible while I can hit him without reprisal. So the jack handle would be nice. It's just, I'm going to hoist chain instead. Turn this into cold so we can stop her cold, eh? And I 
gonna ditch the assault rifle here. So we know a thief is coming. So I'm gonna put this in the shotgun. Worst come to worst, gonna have fix or destroy it next turn. And we're gonna aim. Master magic is really tempting at the moment. Thing is, if nothing else, I need card draws. So, Mists of Time is not going to do me any favors here. I'd rather discard that and get some healing. Falling Statuary. <laughs> Where the whole hoist chain thing kind of backfires, but I'm good. I'll, I'd rather take the one damage. And we're gonna fire, uh, start every turn off with Fumbling Fool, just look for that prison break. There it is. Now, the good news is I can use this to take tokens away so I don't blow myself up. So I get more damage out of Bloody Knuckles. Now the only thing that sucks is we have no idea what his top card is. So I'm going to play speed loading here so I can try to get the cryo rounds back out. And I have to decide which one would I, I rather kill. So this would be six damage. So there are three cards here that would be a little nasty, but I can deal with those, I think. So I can hit him for six, he'll hit me back for two or something. Because the thing is, once you flip her, she boosts his damage, so the counterattacks become a little nastier. Where are my top three? As for the discard, Mists of Time is not going to do me any favors here because, well, to be honest, there isn't really much left in the deck that can do me favors. Mistbound will not arrive in time. It's just Scouring Mist is so worthless, man. That is one of her worst cards. It doesn't really deal enough damage to justify itself. So yeah, let's see what they got. Enforcers? That's not too bad. Blooded Streets? So yeah, Night Mist will take some damage here, but it's not a big deal. Get rid of Mists of Time and Scouring Mist, since I don't... Well, I can't use those cards here. For Fixer, we're not going to use the alternating Tiger Claw. So, here's the hard part. <laughs> This is a pretty sizable nuke. So yeah, that's the end. Unless he plays perfect human specimens here.
freeze. I got a question for you, Operative. Why are you hitting yourself? So this would be a game that would unlock Dark Watch setback. So if you're wondering about the hero order, I have setback first, so that way if Fixer has something that I like, I can destroy his stuff instead. Generally, you're looking for either dual crowbars or a um, jack handle. For expat, you want to get the hair trigger reflexes out. You want to shoot when you don't have to worry about thieves or informants, and then just aim otherwise. Certain times you can use special ammo to give yourself a bit of leverage. Hopefully you saw what I meant. And for Night Mist, I didn't get the Mist form, but instead I got to show how much she can heal. I didn't get to show the Master of Magic, sadly, or even the Mist Field Recovery, because it gets really crazy how much she can heal. But yeah, if you're having trouble with this and you want to see one where I don't exactly have the luckiest of draws compared to my previous unlock video, here you go. So, hopefully this helps you guys. If not, well, leave a comment and we'll see if we can get any more pointers to you, talk about your problems, etc., and I'll try my best to help. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.